Howdy everybody in YouTube land. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. Gross out of Texas. Hey folks, Johnny Practical Nurse here. Uh, enjoying a very bright Central Texas spring day. Uh, wanted to go over something, people, that I know you've heard of a lot about, but I just want to throw in my two cents in here and talk about the importance of this. Uh, ammo cans, okay? Ammo cans. You know, a lot of us have them. A lot of us are preppers have them. We have them for various reasons. Not everybody uses ammo cans for ammo. They use it for storage and a few other things, which is a great idea. Now, my take on ammo cans. Uh, if you will notice, you've got pointing with my foot here because I got to hold the camera. <laughs> These are very large 7.62 cans, okay? And this one, heaven only knows, I found this one at a garage sale and I think it was either five dollars or they gave it to me because they recognized me okay and uh, and of course you have people over here let me get a little closer here you have your 30 caliber can you have what I call the plastic field box made by a company called Plano now I say Plano people Plano uh, there's a place here in Texas called Plano Texas so I say Plano okay uh, I always seem to revert back though phonetically to my native tongue and sometimes I say Plano, and I get corrected all the time. <laughs> but there's that kind, people work your plastic. And then you have the more common 50 caliber cans. Uh, what makes a good can, people? Well, for one thing, I prefer them to be made out of metal. And this is just, people, my, my honest opinion, my take on this, and just passing this information on to you. I like them to be made out of metal, okay? Uh, while I'll give these plastic cans their due, let me see if I can get you in here on this. I mean, don't know if I can. There is a part on here, if I get this to focus, that says hold six to eight boxes of ammunition, perfect for small electronics and range finders, okay? And this got it in French, I believe. Uh, double brass, bailed latch, and water resistant O-ring seal, lockable. Okay, all of that probably, you know, folks, which is, you can see there's a hole there for the lock, which is true. Uh, now, it does not specify six to eight boxes of ammunition, how many per box, okay? So, you know, I don't, I don't think people, I mean, this being plastic and everything, I don't think this is something that I would beat up as much as I beat these up, okay? Uh, show you something here. I'm just going to use this one as an example. I like to see that it's got a nice little gasket on there, nice little O-ring, you know, that will seal it, and it's supposed to help keep the moisture out. I have seen some people tell you, tie a rope to these things, toss them in a creek, you know, and, you know, have, have kind of mixed results, you know, but it is what it is. It was supposed to design just to keep most of the moisture out. Um, one thing I do with my cans that, that people think is, is kind of a cool idea is I label everything. I mean, it's because if I have to reach and grab this can, I got to know what's inside of it. This is, of course, holds my 8mm Mauser ammunition. And yes, people, I will show you my 8mm Mauser on a video. That's coming up pretty I can't say pretty soon because I got a lot of stuff that I got to do, but you know, we will do the 8mm Mauser, I promise. Um, you know, again, you have a small can, people, and again, it's got labeled in this one. You can probably barely read it, but it says 545 loaded mags, okay? And these are just basically what I use for my target mags. I have learned that these uh, Plano cans will hold about six mags, you know, and these are just for going to the range and whatnot. But I know exactly what's in this can by labeling it. 50 caliber cans, the most common one, people. Um, these people, I believe I found, I think I asked a friend of mine who asked a friend who asked a friend and found out that they were in their garage. They were just sitting around with rusty tools in them and whatnot. And again, I labeled. Now, of course, if I open this up, it's going to have 545 ammo, 7 and 6, but they're all loaded in, with, with the ammo with loaded in mags also. So, let's see if I can sometimes pause for just a second. All right, folks, had to pause here for a second because that's, again, I needed two hands. But, again, people, I've got 7 and 6 ammo and, you know, uh, Bakelite, uh, Circle 21. Uh, and these are all Circle 21 mags. And I, I put them in there like that for a reason, okay? <laughs> you can do whatever you want to. Again, when you buy these things used, people, uh, I look for a really good O-ring on there and make sure it's nice and tight. And, of course, excuse me, this, this does, trust me, this fits so tight that... Uh, that uh, I have to use two hands to get it open. Uh, 545 ammo, okay? Uh, on this one, and you notice there's a number 1080. Why is that? Because I found out that one of these 50 caliber cans will hold 1,080 rounds of 545 by 39 ammunition. So I'm pretty sure people with 556 five, ammo, it would probably be about the same. I, I do leave mine in boxes, people. Uh, I do throw a desiccant package in there just simply because of the weather we have here in Central Texas. You know, it's blistering hot one day and then it's pouring down raining the next. 
and the day after that you get a frost okay so just i do it just for those reasons now a lot of people ask me well, what do you got in these you know i'm like they're empty right now <gasps> empty you know remember what i said about an, em an empty ammo can very sad thing but i had to do it for a reason folks uh, this big behemoth right here, and I wish I had pulled one out to show you, but it will hold like four uh, spam cans of 7 and 6 ammunition. Now, now, that sounds cool, right? Try picking it up. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was moving some things around the other day, and I asked the missus to pick this one up the other day, the practical shopper, and she could not pick this up. Okay, it's got some weight and I wish I had a scale people, but I think a, a scale is an evil plot from Satan So I keep them out of my house Do my clothes fit? Yes, I'm good. I'm ready <laughs> okay? But I don't know exactly how much it weighs people But um, I imagine that you can fit, like I said you can fit a thousand eighty rounds But I imagine you could probably fit about the same number of five five six in there and um, If you were using 7.62 by 39, I want to say it was 720 now people this is still in the box That's what I could get to fit all right, but you know, you t like like me. I also take them out and I put them in those um, in those uh, sealing meal kind of bags and throw them in there. Uh, I've got other ones, you know, and that's how I store those, but for different reasons. But these folks, once I filled them up, even these 7.62 cans, they were awfully heavy, and I need to be able to reach, grab, and and go. Okay, that that is my thing. Okay, I need to have you know like one hand for doing one holding on to something and one hand for holding on to an ammo can or whatever. Um, now, does that mean that this is useless? Absolutely not. Uh, these are great to store things in and where you're going to stash things if you're not, if you don't plan on transporting it and keep it re relatively, you know, dry, you know, and, uh, moisture resistant. Uh, this one, I think I'm going to mount in my Jeep as a general purpose, just like stored all box for stuff. Maybe a few tools or something like that. Uh, these I haven't quite decided. I, um, a friend of mine gave these so they have some sentimental attachment to them. Um, I don't think I want to trade them. If I would trade them, I would trade them for more 30 cal cans and 50 cal cans. Again, people, uh, if I have not mentioned it, the 30 cal cans I use for stuff uh, for ammunition that I don't have a lot of, I don't keep a lot around. And uh, the 50 cal cans, of course, I, I keep, gosh, you know, I believe in the old buy it cheap, stack it deep, if it, even if it is a box at a time. Uh, people, that's my take on ammo cans. If there's any questions, comments, or anything that you can think of, let me know. Again, people, I really do, I think that the 50 caliber cans are the best uh, because of portability. And, you know, you're not trying to, you know, like throw your arm out of socket or give yourself a hernia or anything for picking these up, okay? While I think these places have, uh, I do think these have a place, uh, I'm not sure it would be really great for what I call a Minuteman or Ready Prepper. Uh, maybe, like I said, like, like me, if you mount them in your Jeep or your, your truck or something like that that you use as your bug out vehicle. But as for everyday carrying, no. Um, okay, folks, tell me what you think. Until I see you all next time, I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. Until I see you next time, salute out here.